I mean, where have you been? I'm so sorry. I'm actually on my way out now. That's why I'm all glammed up. I thought I would come say hi to you guys. Hello. <laughs> you? I said no. Sorry. I, I thought. <laughs> okay. You guys definitely got to know this is Abby. Something is always going on. Something is always happening. Actually, Happy New Year. <laughs> That's really silly to say. I have been recording, but I have not been uploading. I'm hoping this is going to be the intro of this collection of vlogs since, guys, I left you guys at Butlins. I didn't think I was going to stop vlogging. I thought, you know, it was going to carry on. No. But life, had to, life has its own way of doing things. And who am I to... Come on, be planning. I've been able to plan anything as as the thing happened like now you had to do them. So I have been recording some bits. I'm actually trying to look at some of the footage so that I can kind of give you guys some gist about what was going on. Yes, we did get home from Butlins. We didn't live in Butlins, as you can see. <laughs> I'm in my house. Uh, and I think we probably went to this movie because I can see a footage of me and the boys at the movie, so I'll let you guys catch what movie we were watching so you can judge <laughs> how long I've had this footage. Roll the tape. 100p. 100p? Yeah. I don't understand. 100p is it's real. Here is the child that wonder we used to feel. Hey. None of, the, none of the actors were real. Like, they're real, but their names weren't real. Okay, so there's another footage of me here washing my hair for some reason. And then, um, come to even look at this hair now. My hair has, is literally longer than this now. So, this was all in January. I think um, I can see something I was talking about the hair. So, let me let you guys enjoy that and you guys can come back. Hey guys, all done. Okay, I need to be able to fit my hair in this. Well, I'm sounding as if the hair is longer than this. This is it. Um, it's so thick. Now, loving it. Loving the thickness of my hair. Everything good, everything nice. The plan is to wash my hair. So I can get my hair ready for... I like to do this so that... I all this place that looks like because the shape of my hair is not the best the best but I'm so excited to do my hair I've taken in my hair out um, I guess I'm gonna see you guys in the bathroom maybe later but we're washing it and prepping the hair for tomorrow so see you when I'm washing the hair well say hello to my big afro my hair is thick that i might tell you guys like my hair is thick if i can even turn oh no it's not working is it anyways my hair is thick i know when i wash this hair it's gonna shrink so it's fine i just need to wash it and get it ready for tomorrow i'm super excited see you guys in a bit mm. I don't know what you guys have watched but I know there was a lot of talking there was a place I was plaiting my hair I don't want to be listening to it I wanted to come show you guys my face as I said I have been living my life basically I have literally been living my life I think this time okay I remember um, one thing I promised myself this year is um, I want to do stuff more I want to be outside I want to enjoy rest actually I wanted to enjoy restaurants and this was also in January it was me Frank literally everybody you will see everybody there in Jimmy Tega we went to try this place in Peckham it was called Flygerian honestly they left a bad taste in my mouth that I was not gonna go back there again but yeah uh, we have the footage there which I will let you guys kind of watch and you guys should come back to my face hey guys after many Trying to find what to wear. I finally settled with this. I might show you guys what I'm wearing, but I'm off to recharge myself. I've been working with doing <laughs> since the beginning of the year. 
I have been recharging myself with people that love me. And let me kind of zoom out so you guys can see my outfit. I miss you guys so much. I'm not going to wear a jacket. I'm only going to wear this jumper. And I'm thinking maybe this bag. Um, I do have a fragrance on. I'm going to put another one on because I was changing so many clothes. I'm going to recharge myself. I'm going with my people today i'm hanging out with i'm not sure who else is coming but edwin anyway, tega frank and moses that's the people on the list but i don't know who else but your girl need to charge herself i need to love on myself i have been taking a lot of breaks i haven't been well mentally but we're getting there um you guys should look after yourself i love to watch the diary of a ceo i think his podcast has just been one of the podcasts that's just it's kind of resetting my mindset and um, i've been enjoying it oh while i'm here i'm gonna pack some little I have this miniatures. I love when I have like little, little, little miniatures and stuff. I have oil. So you can put them in your small, small bag. How have you guys been doing? Let me do Lady Deal. I think I like this one because it's got the spray. We might not be out for long, but I sometimes like to be ready. Should in case maybe we're going to the club and stuff like that i'm gonna also put this in my bag and i need some some cream as well you know it's not easy to be a lady and i like to look after myself um but one thing i feel like i was lacking last year is i look after myself physically but mentally i wasn't but um, I don't think I've actually been telling anyone how I'm feeling because of course everyone is going through one thing or the other but I like to go out with my friends and you know we just chat we just chill and um, we enjoy life life is for living yeah so you guys are coming with me oh my god frank is gonna be so happy that i'm vlogging because he's been asking abby i haven't seen you upload a video what's wrong what's wrong <laughs> i was like i don't know even everyone has been asking uh, i've just not been feeling too well honestly physically and mentally haven't been even financially as i said i'm gonna be kind of be honest with you guys i feel like even if i can't speak with my friend it's not like they wouldn't listen but i have this persona of i'm so okay i'm fine i'm i'm okay but deep inside sometimes i'm not um financially i am struggling like i'm not even gonna lie i'm gonna get into that whoa yeah what do you want if you're okay because you're quiet yeah i'm fine i'm just getting my stuff oh okay i got this just, sorry i was trying to, i was trying to get some cream to moisturize my hand financially i'm struggling uh, we're gonna get into that some other time but tonight i'm gonna go and get some love from my people and um we'll see how are you guys doing how is everyone doing hope everyone is fine hope everyone has been taking time off themselves um love on yourself be around people that loves you and yeah so a very big thank you to everyone that has kind of messaged me abby how are you is everything okay you know 
it's really nice it's really nice but it's just that sometimes i don't know how to tell my problem to the world <laughs> i might not even have this bit but i think i will i don't know i'm gonna be <sighs> anyways let's go should i show you guys my outfit i look really cool i look like the gen z okay that's good i gotta put this back let me sprinkle it a little bit because i like to smell good yep show you my outfit guys when it's so um got this i got a black top underneath i'm not late i got this black top and this cargo pants um So let me put you guys in the bag and let's go and show ourselves some love. All we need is one love, one love. All we need is one love. I might change bag, you know. I might change bag. Not sure yet. Let me see. Okay, a cup, pop of color. That's cute. Anyway, let me put you guys in the bag. I love you guys so much. Love you. But let's go. I like when there's a lot of people. Should we all get like different things and try? Should we do that? Yeah. I was thinking um, some of the alcohol, like the shop. Oh no, my auntie, she just came on me. Yeah, you were saying it's sweet. I know, I know. We should go together. Where? Are you Lola. Are you from Mangwachi? Who has not been to Lola? Yeah. No, I said together. together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have. Huh? We don't all together. No. We don't all together. Okay, maybe not this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've yeah. been with you. Yeah. I've been yeah. another place. Um, we were there yesterday. We were there yesterday. Ah! The cheek. I know, I know. And it was yeah. so good. What, what is that? It's the rum. Is that what Yeah. yeah. There's another one, Delta Weber. You didn't tell me. Yeah, I'm going to be there. No, I'm not in there. Why? It's Gizdo. a man. Oh, you're Gizdo. Nice. That was too he's, he's put everything. Too he's put everything together. Oh my I gosh. <laughs> Please, they didn't bring your food. Did you take one plantain? <laughs> You didn't come around, man. I'm definitely feeling really yeah. Me too. Oh. This is what that man wants to do. That man already got me to spin him. Yes, it's yeah. my fish, though. Oh, that looks so good. That is a fish. It's, nice. it's not flying, though. Is it flying? This is way better. It's always smiling. It's always smiling when you say it. This one is literally waiting. Look at the four coding. <laughs> Moses. Where is the cassava at this thing? No. My table is empty. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But this is sleeping. Hmm? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. 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 No, I'
and but also i and the girls we went to i think this is sweet one this one is in dulwich lewisham this is amazing i'm actually trying to see if we can go again we always love them um, what's this place called what's it femi <sighs> The, the food we like to order, me and the girls, we like to order is Femi's, Femi's Fish. Now, that's that like our top place to go, but right now, this one, this sweet one is amazing. We've, we've only been once, by the way, but we're planning other trips this summertime, so we might go back to sweet one. And there's another one I wanted to try. Um, actually, Tega did go there. She said it was amazing. I might go there this weekend. If I vlog, I'll show you guys. I think it's lobster and something, something. I don't know. But we really, really have, we had so much fun in a sweet one we love it the food was amazing 10 out of 10 customer service i think for me the Nigerian, my issue with that place if sorry guys you guys can see that i've had it with yes i have been living life i've been chopping maybe next year we can do film facts but this year any restaurant i see on on instagram kind of like we just had it to list of where we're gonna go and become going to restaurants and you know how to do it oh by the way guys don't worry about my hair it's not like this i've just got short hair i'm tying it out because i'm going out so i thought i'll be just to this video start your start coming back to youtube so people can see it that's why i've got this hair on um I have short hair actually but i'm going out so you guys will probably see my hair in another vlog but not in this one sorry guys not in this one because your girl is going out anyway sweet one was amazing love the vibe we were the last people there and it was amazing it wasn't that pricey i think each one with the drink was about 60 pound per person with the drink and there's um, start we had starter and the main course it was big it was really really nice i think people should try it Um, as usual we had parties I think this was one of the family once someone in the family turned 18 so we went so this is this footage listen listen okay. Okay. Because sometimes I, I just do like short vlogs. I don't do like big ones. Um, oh, I will not forget this one because I can see this coming. I think this um family party that we went to, we I didn't really really vlog. I think I have a video where we did. Ah, nah, 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 nah. It was me, Jody, Tega and someone i'll probably leave it here so you guys can watch i love that day we had so much fun also that same <laughs> week summer summer there's this place i really wanted to try now they are in stratford stratford this one was in where was this again where i went it was not it was in south london not south london it was in central london it's just like this japanese or korean street food and i tried this um hot dog this thing it was so yummy did i record my eating it it was so so yummy uh, okay i didn't record myself eating it but it was really beautiful i really 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 enjoy enjoy the the the, the street food 
and also their chips was really not their chips their hot wings was really really nice this one is a long video i don't know what i was talking about here but you guys want to just watch all this talking because i said i was vlogging but oh when i had my braids oh, this is long time i had braids hey guys today is i think may something i know i've been patch patching recording stuff um but i had this to part of the vlog let me give you guys a quick story i'm actually doing my bed i'm just i'm just getting better i don't know i think i might i would have mentioned it in all this video i don't know anyway so i was coming back from work um day before yesterday the thought of me yeah i've finished my shift i really don't work too much i just did small i just did small job i was coming back home so that i can pick Jaden up from school actually my plan was to finish work try and go to uni um and um, pick Jaden but when I finished that shift I was so tired I wasn't tired that's not the truth I wasn't tired but I just changed my mind I was like mm, it's okay I got on the bus was listening to music literally normal day for me I got off my stop I crossed to the other side of the road to get into my streets and I really didn't know what happened after that literally didn't know what happened all I heard was are you okay are you okay there was like thousands of people on my head I don't know what happened they were like oh they already put like sweet in my mouth and I was I just I just didn't know what happened long story short it happens that two people or such some set of people they saw what happened they said they saw me come out of the bus of course I crossed the street but they saw me skipped twice and the next thing I was on the floor one man said that he thought maybe I flipped or maybe I mix miss my step that's why I the way I staggered but the girl oh that girl she's amazing she helped me throughout when they even called the called the ambulance and everything there was two ladies that helped me they said the girl said that she just saw that i just went down it's never happened to me before I'm not a very sicky person. I really don't know what happened. I was okay. I I even in my bag because they were thinking maybe I haven't eaten all day or I'm dehydrated. They saw my cup of coffee and they saw my water. I had water in my hand. Oh, another thing they said was the only thing that saved me the way I felt was be the only thing that saved me was my bag because when i dropped my bag was able to my head was on top of my bag so apparently i was i was like this when i fell i fell like this face down it was scary it was so scary and to be honest i've just been overthinking not like i've been overthinking but I've just been because I know I wasn't sick I mean I know me if I'm tired I, I'm, I just don't do anything but I don't know what that was it's scary and I couldn't I can't even recollect what happened like why I kind of fainted It's making me question everything in life because one minute you think you're you're healthy and strong and everything and just like that because I definitely 
remember everything I did. I was even on the phone texting for me. That was the last place before I got off my bus because I and for me were texting each other. That was the last person I remember texting. And I crossed everything after that. Literally did not know. That has been keeping me. I'm okay physically physically but I'm just like what happened anyways I thought I would share that with you guys what's the time yeah when let me see when was this yeah so, so it was second of May anyway my people let's look after ourselves guys look at me I miss you guys so much. Did you guys miss me? I'm trying to tidy up my bed. I miss you guys so much. But I need to finish up this month. I'm just taking every day super careful. And I also heard that somebody died this month. Um, I'm just I'm 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 a very positive focus person within when there's chaos going on I try not to pull my my I try not to oh my chest I try not to I remember I used to put you guys here the boys are downstairs perfect I try not to like let the positive no let the negative right things affect me so I know bad things are happening, but I'm just like, okay, all right, I'm going to come out of this. And also, I don't know if I've told you guys, guys, I don't think I have mentioned it. Maybe I have, I don't know. I'm so into my Bible reading. Right now, I'm in Second Samuel. I started reading my Bible. Where is it? It needs to be in my bag. I think it's downstairs. I started reading let's go downstairs I started reading my Bible this is turning to a blog ah, I only vlog once a year but you guys will catch all these things um, later I started yes I've seen my Bible I started this um, my Bible scholar reading then and it's been so interesting I started it in January this year the one that was very, very um, intriguing to me was Leventicus. <laughs> I mean, everybody that I saw, I was just like, oh, did you know they were doing this in the Bible? Like in the olden days, this was what was happening? People were like, okay, I'll be. <laughs> but now, I mean, I finished first Samuel. This is my Bible, guys. This is my Bible. And this Bible is from Edirin's mom. I don't know if you guys can see. This is Edirin's mom's Bible. Because I was talking about the reading of the Bible so much. And <laughs> I kind of forced her to give me this Bible. And she did. She gave me a Bible. She, she kind of has two. And she gave me this. And this one is the Living Bible Edition. I love it. I love reading the Bible. And I'm not just reading it like a, like a story. Like I'm not rushing. Um, I'm not rushing through it. The way I read it and I understand things that happen. It's just like, oh my God. Okay, let me give you guys an example. Oh my God, I'll be up. this is not to um, this. Anyway, it's fine. So. The last part I read was when Saul died and the situation between Saul and Paul when Paul was trying no Saul was trying to keep what did I say? Did I say Paul? No. It's Saul and David. Um Saul was trying to kill David, even though David was there fighting battles, you know, doing all the all the all the things for the Israelites to not be killed. But Saul was jealous because, of course, Saul was, Paul was, David was doing everything. He would send people to track him down. 
and see what he's doing so he can go and kill him he even got to his pace where where the fear of god caught me was when paul went to where why can i keep saying paul david when david went to where saul was in the cave when they were camping because they wanted to come and attack him he now went there he saw them sleeping, all of them sleeping, the sword and everything. He had the opportunity there to kill him because this man has been tormenting his life. But he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He took the sword and he was shouting. He was like, listen, like he, like he, sh he shouted and t t told Paul, Saul and his people that look, if look at the sword you guys were holding i could have used this sword to kill you guys but he said it would never kill an anointed king that god has chosen because he doesn't want god to judge him meanwhile this sword was planning him he wanted to kill him all because he was jealous of david of course his jealousy the glory david had but david did not use evil to do evil to pay evil basically that's what i learned in that paragraph because this the bible keeps saying different scenario whereby let's say um, paul have left i mean david they said david has gone to hide in manchester so we carry all these people go to manchester to go and hunt him down there they say he has left Manchester or he has gone all the way back to Liverpool. He will like he was hunting him down. But when David finally found him or went to go and chase him, he caught he caught him there, him and his soldiers. But he didn't want to kill him. He didn't want to kill him. He could have just killed him and just let him go. Like, look, you're to you're torturing my life. Let me end your life. But he didn't do that. By the end of the day, Saul still died. But it just pained me that his kids, Jonathan and Hamlet or whatever those ones were, they, they follow him died too. And his death wasn't that nice. I think it was the Palestine that killed Palestine. He named the right in this Bible. Sometimes it's really hard to 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 pronounce but his death was not really nice but even 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 david they even still mourn him they said when he died david was still mourning him it was so sad even samuel's death too was also was also one of the sad one as well but i think he got old Ooh, oh no, oh god if i start okay anyway another one again eh? let me tell you guys so when Samuel died, Samuel is the priest. You guys know about Samuel now. The mother was, you know, the mother had him and he took him and said Samuel was going to worship the God because the mother was bad. The mother couldn't have a child. And the, everyone knows that story. Anyway, now he's an old man. He's the one that is now anointing people for the people of God. So he anointed Saul and he also anointed David. So when he died, so went to go and meet well i'm gonna I, i'm gonna just classify it as babalao so went to meet babalao to call the spirit of samuel because god was not answering his prayer because of course he would pray god we answer him but god was not answering him again because god was angry with him because he was killing people he was not very nice he was not a nice king but this thing is that we watch in tv like when they call people spirit they call the spirit of a man of god and samuel said why are you disturbing <laughs> guys if you read the bible it's like a full movie inside this bible so samuel was saying to saul because the the woman did the incantation and god and got um samuel's um spirit up this is in first samuel he got samuel's spirit up and saw there was now asking samuel like why 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 is god angry with me why is all of this thing happening then samuel then um, samuel was telling Saul, like listen you were not listening to god you were doing things 
but on your own the things god asked you not to do you were just doing it you were not listening god anointed you to be king of the israelites so that you they can you can you can you can lead them but you you're just going by by your own word you're like why did god forsake me blah 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 god is angry with why is god I said, why did you go and disturb this old man that is dead? Someone was dead. You want to go wake his spirit up. Anyway, that's what this year has been. I've been reading the Bible. And um, life has been happening. But that's my faint thing. It really made me fear... A lot of stuff in this world you know made me really scared I took me and the kids we went to the shop and we walked past there so I kind of told them I showed them the place I was like I can't believe I just fell I didn't fall because I didn't know what happened I basically fainted or passed out because I didn't know what happened literally didn't know what happened hmm. my own is just that we should live every day like it's the last day and it's not like oh i'm unhealthy or, or this and now i was speaking to take others like maybe it's stress guys i know i do you guys should know me i don't i don't like anything stress i don't do it i do everything small 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 like even though i know i do a lot but i do them small okay this is all i can do this is all i can do even the work i went i didn't even do a lot i finished at one o'clock but it is well anyways let me show you guys my flowers i've been loving this um flower can you see this is what is going to open up to be but this is the process i love this this is cute to me look at that that one is still closed and i think it smells nice i think this is i don't know i can't remember the name of this one this is so beautiful and and i have some red roses here these are my red roses they are beautiful. Okay, we're back again. I'm still talking. I don't know. Is this how I talk? Do you guys enjoy all this? My long talking, talking, talking. I was vlogging, but I was just not showing you guys. This is May. <laughs> we're rich, May. Hey, guys. Oh, my God. Oh. So, yesterday, I went to kiss Daniel. <laughs> I'm actually going to put the video here so you guys can watch <laughs> I went to see my boo. It's been 10 years, guys. I've been Kiss Daniel's fan over 10 years. I'm sure his music is over 10 years. When he was with Gio, I've been the fan. But I went to see him yesterday. It was so much fun. Actually, one thing I wanted to do was I do I do things myself, but there are some certain things that I wouldn't do by myself. Like go to a concert by myself i wouldn't have done it um when i booked the ticket i was like you know i'm gonna go by myself but then i was i was i was going to chicken out then i invited frank but frank said he wasn't gonna be around for that date 
because I think, yeah, he's still in Qatar. He went to Qatar. Is it Qatar or Dubai? I think it's Qatar. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go by myself, guys. It was so much fun. Like, I mean, when I went with Frank, it was nice. We later went to have dinner and stuff. But yesterday, I had so much fun, and it was raining all through out yesterday. I'm definitely putting the videos for you guys to watch. It was so much fun. I made friends. You guys know me. I know how to make friends. I made friends and. I just loved it. I literally loved it. Kiss Daniel was amazing. He came with up her wife. This is our Kiss Daniel just got married under my nose. But it's okay, I'll wait for him. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I would come and tell you guys because I didn't vlog yesterday, but I did record some footage on my phone. So I thought to let you guys know I went to a concert by myself now I am brave to go to a concert by myself so I don't need to wait for people or go with groups of people <laughs> just buy your tickets go enter there get yourself a drink you're gonna be in a crowd of people you just dance and smile people will warm up to you there was this guy and the girlfriend they were, were standing next to each other. I just made friends with them. All of us like that. We're just like friends. The guy was nice. We're like, you want to dance? I'm like, yeah. The guy was like, do you, you love Kiss Daniel so much? I was like, yes. It's my, it's my number one lover. I know whole his song. And he did a very... I personally, I think he did a good job. This time, yeah, he was on the stage for about an hour and a half going to two hours like he left at 11 and he sang all his song from the beginning to like whatever he's got right now he did that was really nice really really enjoyed it and i'm so proud of him i'm so proud of him i just pray that he doesn't get distracted with life i know he's like he's not as famous as every other musician and all that but there's something in that guy he just needs to be humble and he just needs to keep going i've loved him from the beginning when he was young i can remember the video of him that i watched i was like oh my god this guy's gonna go really really well and look at him now like kiss daniel keep going anyway that is that part of um Thing. I think the rest of the stuff happening this month um, should be maybe Jaden's birthday and um, I don't know if I have plans with the girls but if I do I will bring you guys and um, yeah see you guys bye I'm recording <laughs> I can't even remember how to say this I feel like I've done things but I, maybe if I find if I as have I I don't know if I've told you uh, maybe I have maybe I haven't let me put this down because this is all that is on the memory card um Jaden and Jordan's birthday oh I didn't I didn't I did it I mean I didn't I didn't vlog as I said there's some certain things that I just didn't vlog because I was just literally living the moment I oh my god guys one thing I'm gonna tell you guys is take time for yourself where you need your own time you need it take it and go and enjoy it and that is what I have done this year nothing drastic has happened YouTube was just actually one thing also was YouTube was not fun for me again I just felt like content is getting a bit repetitive and it wasn't interesting for me and for me i like i like to be very very creative and that's what i think i'm going to be doing when i come back now i really want to just talk just express exactly how i feel um there's more it's good it's not going to be the abby and the boys again it's more going to be I'll be in the front line and um, I think that was that was my mindset when I was coming into this year like I wanted to do something for myself I think the last time I yeah the last time I vlogged I was in uni <laughs> hey guys today is kind of the last week in uni I know the term has finished basically the year has finished but I need to go in to 
get my bag. I need to go in to use a scanner because I need to scan all my work so that I can finish up my portfolio. I got everything in here and I thought it would, have, it would be okay. The sun is better now. The sun has been shining. I thought it would be nice to record. I didn't I don't think this year I recorded anything about school. Okay, maybe I need to brush my hair. Because <laughs> I was literally ready to run off. Um, I'll put you guys in the bag and maybe I'll vlog if I see if I remember. But I need to go and use the scanner to scan all my stuff so that I can finish up my portfolio that we can submit next week. So that's the plan for today. Trying to think. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. Hi guys. What up, what up? I thought I was gonna bring you. Oh, I hope there's no light. Oh, this scanner is annoying. I need to switch back to the other one. I'm just about to finish scanning all my stuff, but the scanner is dirty. Is this the front room? And after uni, I've just been living life, and um, I don't know if I must have told you guys in this. I don't know. As I said, I don't know what I've recorded, but then I've also been working as well. So we've been working, we've been doing enjoyment, we've been paying students, <laughs> students, uh, we've been paying school fees, and you know, the boys have been growing. They had their parties. I mean, I did a little Instagram and stuff like that, which I probably had. No shit for church. Yeah, no, no, no. What's she she was happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Birthday happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Jaden. Oh, no. Happy All right, that's it. Thank you. Can I take a picture? Happy birthday, Why else do I need to tell you guys? Nothing. I'm gonna make it because it's summer now. Why? Why? We outside. I mean, we've been outside since. But um, I'm gonna be bringing you guys with me. Actually, I'm gonna bring you guys today with me. Um, no fail. You guys are gonna be in my car. Oh, not in my car. No, I ain't got no car yet. <laughs> But you guys are coming with me. Mel is coming to pick me up and um, we'll vlog us all going out and um, yeah. So if you guys see this pretty face again, you guys should enjoy it. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye guys.